As a director and a professional animator, I know how hard it is to get your work not only made, but seen. So I was delighted to hear that BBC4 and the British Film Institute had offered grants for the creation of 30 new animated films by new and emerging talent. Tonight, we're gonna to see the TV premiere. What's unique and really important about this particular scheme is that BBC4 are being brave and allowing filmmakers so early in their career to have their work shown on mainstream TV. What's interesting is that even today in the era of smartphones is that we can still make films one frame at a, at a time to tell these personal stories and how we relate to each other. And animation can do that in a way which can almost in a microscopic level and use highly imaginative devices through magical moments, through stop frame, through 2D, through CG techniques, all created one frame at a time. It's a very laborious process, but it yields really interesting results. This collection of animated films that have been made by a cohort of new filmmakers say something very specific about society today. Not only are they personal, stories about relationships and how we interact with each other. They're looking outside at the world and how we engage with uh, society and dare I say the word Brexit. These films show the wealth of talent here working in Britain today. The first three films we're gonna to see tonight are all stories about animals. Of course, they are telling us something very human about ourselves. They're allegories for life. It's a theme that's been used from Hallis and Bachelor and Animal Farm. It's been used recently with Wes Anderson and Isle of Dogs. But these filmmakers, today's animators, are using the theme to really investigate confinement and to look at who we are when we escape. These aren't cartoons. These films are serious entertainment that provoke further debate and conversation.
The next three films you're about to see are all about other worlds. They range from the Arctic to distant far off planets and moons, all the way back in time to 1980s Nigeria. 
they use a combination of techniques. They use 2D experimental animation, they use 3D digital technology, and they use puppet stop frame animation. All of these worlds are about human survival, memories. Pay attention not only to what you can see, but what you can also hear by the way the animators are working with sound designers and composers to make these other worlds utterly compelling and immersive. My earliest childhood memory was when I went back to Nigeria with my mother. I was four years old. I was born in Lagos and lived there until I was one. That's me in 1988 when I was four. Walking through the busy market street, I start a rhythmic dance to the colourful sounds of people shouting and laughing. I recall eating barbecued corn on the cob from the street sellers who were surrounded by foggy smoke. I was frightened by the giant snails. The most desirable would be seasoned and tossed into a tantalising spicy stew. taste from eating raw plantain in a treehouse is still delectable. Summer was youthful and unfamiliar surroundings were comforting. It felt like home again. My mother bought me two toffee sweets covered in gold and pink wrapping. I wanted to share the sweets with my cousins, resisting temptation in what felt like the longest car journey. My cousins lived in Lagos mainland. Their strong Nigerian accent was mesmerising, almost like poetry. I wanted to play with them all day long. My grandmother lived on Lagos Island. She was more beautiful than I had imagined. She sat under the burning orange sun wearing traditional attire. I noticed that she was barefooted, so I asked my mother if I could remove my sandals. She replied with a firm, no. But my grandmother told my mother to let me and so she did. I wondered, who is this woman whom my mother must obey? Running around the compound in excitement, my feet were absorbing the warmth of the foreign land, my body jerking like a ritual dance to the drumming of my grandmother using a wooden spoon, mixing together water and dried cassava. The past can hold us captive when we miss the things that have changed. This was the last time that I saw my grandmother. She passed away a few years later. But her spirit lives on through my mother and me. These are some of my most beautiful memories.
The next three films take us deep into the interior life of three very, very different characters. They range in tone from sci-fi to a dark fairy tale to farce. They use a combination of 2D animation drawn over puppets to 3D digital techniques, all in a way that takes us deep, deep, deep below the skin of characters in a way that live action cannot. And they explore obsession and paranoia. Ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. Ham sandwich? 3 a.m. and here I am once again sinking into a whirlpool of if onlys and oh god whys. My mind's stuck on a loop, broken carousel, a never ending record. Oh, I just want to sleep. But no, 11 hours 23 minutes later, the hippocampus, that little nugget deep in my brain, is furiously toiling away, hell bent on keeping me awake, reliving what I did today over and over. Yeah. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> ah, me. Uh, <clears throat> good one. Good one. Uh, it's funny, you know. I actually heard a quite good one the other day. The so a ham sandwich uh, walks into a bar and tries to order a drink, and the barman says, "We don't serve food here." <laughs> Why did I say anything? Why a joke? They all stared at me like I'd murdered their cat or something. 171,476 words in the English language to choose from and that was all I could think of. Oh, oh God, I'm gonna have to quit. Yes, have a fresh start. I'll move to Germany and start an alpaca farm. The alpacas won't judge me. Or would they? I'll never look at a ham sandwich in the same way again. Memory's so strange. I know all the British monarchs and recognize every nautical knot, but birthdays elude me. I remember capital cities, but not the name of someone I've just met. I'm running over the same tired memories like a hamster in a wheel. A never ending cycle of deja vu. Someone once told me that deja vu was us briefly connecting with our past lives. That it was a spiritual sign we were repeating the same mistakes. But she never did like facts. We don't serve food here. Oh! oh, if only we could choose to forget. So many memories that keep coming back. Ones that just stick with you. says we don't serve food here. Ah! The more we think on a memory, the more it distorts. The more we focus on the details, the more they blur and fragment. My nan had dementia when she died last year. She couldn't remember. I only have a handful of memories left of her now. Am I forgetting who she is the more I try to picture her? Am I changing who she was? Sleep is the only way out of this. I don't think I've ever felt freer than when I dream. Like whatever's happened gets swept clean and I can think clearly again. If I could sleep, then I could bury today in the back of my sandwich walks into the bar and tries to order a drink. But the barman says, we don't serve food here. Ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. 
Frank? You all right? The joke, James. I can't stop thinking about it. Everyone thinks I'm an idiot. The entire office was there. You heard it. Don't know what you mean, mate. Maybe get a couple of hours sleep before work, eh? If I was a monster, you know, a real, proper monster, I wouldn't go round the houses with big old nasty teeth and horrible long claws, making it bleeding obvious. No, what I'd do is I'd blend in. Camouflage myself. I'd be the last of all God's creatures anyone ever suspected of eating them up. Who knows? Perhaps I'd blend in so well, even I could not tell I was a monster. Did you ever hear the story of the three crow boys? Being so ugly, the three crow boys were to be killed at birth. But whilst the doctors were being sick, they made their escape. Three crow boys search the streets all night. Until, as luck may have it, they found the house of a lonely old blind man. told them many terrifying stories about the war. Which made them smile inside.
the old man soon learned that crows are not only the most intelligent of all birds, but also the most vicious. And greedy. But being so lonely, the old man loved them as if they were his own. As you might imagine, the three crow boys became very curious about the world outside. And despite the old man's protests, they decided to explore the city one night. The next morning, as the crow boys slept, there was a special announcement on the wireless. Ladies and gentlemen, a boy in the White Chapel area disappeared from his bed last night. There are signs of a break. Police fear foul play and encourage extreme caution. The old man just knew that the Crow Boys were involved somehow. And he begged them not to go out again the next night. But his words, they fell on deaf ears. Ladies and gentlemen, last night a second boy disappeared from his bed in the White Chapel area. Oh, the head of police claims that one of the promising leads please stay vigilant and stay tuned. The old man wondered why the things he loved most always fell apart. <laughs> With tears running down his face, he awoke the three crow boys with their favourite chamomile tea. And he told them a particularly terrible tale of how he lost his family. And his eyes... And with a smile on each of their faces, one by one by one, the three crow boys slipped away.
when the sun finally arose, there was another announcement on the wireless.
Tonight's four final films all explore the perennial theme of love. They're not typical love stories, they're unusual stories, perfect for the use of animation. Love beyond the grave. Love in a controlling relationship. The desire to move on and one is holding you back. Erotica. How do you use animation to communicate erotica in a way that any other medium cannot? Lost love, toxic love, failed love, perfect love. Sit back and enjoy. Dear Elsie, without you, without you, nights are cold. Without you, party is not so gay. Without you, life has no music. Without you, my tea has no sugar. Without you, Seconds can take hours. With you. <laughs> All right, darling.
the state of grooming nowadays. Ugh. It's disgusting. Well, at least I get to come back to you. <laughs> Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Archie. It's gone now. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was just a stressful day. Anyway. We'll soon have enough. in the bathroom. Mary? Mary! I'll do that today. It's fine. I've already done it. It needs taping. It's okay. I can do that. Mary! Mm. Give mm. it! Oh. <laughs> What have you done with it? That's it! Stop! I don't want to. But, but it's disgusting, Mary. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's, un, it's unnatural. <laughs> 
Everybody's hairy, Archie. feel his hand in my in my hand but then it felt like the rest of my body was really far away i remember looking down at my hand and i was just looking at this moment because it felt like a more profound moment than just simply holding hands i think i think this is it I think I'm actually in love. This is so intense. Sick, sickening. And sudden. It is the the animal side. Freed from the mind, just purely animalistic it's a force it's a life force All love is a kind of ruinous enslavement. I want this person to be me. Just destroyed 
so easily. It's all so fragile and can all burst apart. I did fall out of love with and it was rather full of um, guilt and regret and um, a failure. Desperation. You're just so empty. My guys, my guys, my guys. How are we today? Hmm? Me? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Three is can complete. I got tits from space and an ass from hell. I've never been better. 3D print in progress. I've got a good feeling about this one. It is a pleasure to meet you.
good to have you back, friend. Two weeks is too long without our Tanya. Where have you been? I've been... ...working on a new project. <laughs> Can't wait to meet him. I think I finally found the formula for total perfection. <laughs> All his proportions divine. Yeah, but most of all, they just really get me, you know? <laughs> I can really be myself around them. <laughs> Come here, you little pervert. What a beautiful day. Stay out of my room, Marcy. I'm going to be on the radio in five minutes. Oh, no! <laughs> Tanya, as your partner, I would like to get a grip on your gestures and inflections. Puzzle you out a little. I'm not fussed on getting a drink. Let's make it caramels or whatever. <laughs> sure, baby. Tanya, where are my bones? You don't want bones, slug. They just get in the way. Nice face, bad conversation, good body, 